I don't know who invented this, but I think it's kind of a genius thing. But I love cleaning and I do not understand why some people live in the dirty places. Because like, ah, oh, it's such a relief, you know? So, I don't know, but there are some days when, like, if you speak two or three or more languages, I don't know how many you can speak, but sometimes, like, one language doesn't come out naturally, you know, like, today is that day. I mean, it happened to me also in Mexico. When I was in Mexico, some days were perfect for Spanish. You know, they were perfect. I was speaking perfect Spanish with all friends and I was feeling so confident. And some days I was like, no Spanish today, por favor. Pero no he practicado en mi español por mucho tiempo y por eso no hablo perfectamente. Pero el día de hoy puedo hablar en español mejor de inglés. ¿Por qué? Yo no sé por qué. No, no tengo razón, pero eh, eso es. And yes, I use gloves, which is very unusual to do. This time alone, I think sometimes, at some point when you're on a door and you're living with roommate, roommates or you're living with your parents, or, I mean, in, in Korea, adults can live with their parents like till they like 32, 35. I cannot imagine if I would live with my parents, you know, till I'm 35 or 30, even 30, because I left my parents home when I was 17 and I went to, and I went to the university to another city. And let me just show you some more variations of Korean syllables, as well as some other Korean vowels, you will find these three elements. The long horizontal line represents the earth or land and the small dot. So basically I already knew this information before because I already, I mean I started learning Korean alphabet and just Korean um, in general um, I think like five months ago but I started and then I quit immediately because I left Korea at that time. This time I came and it took me one month and a half to decide to learn Korean. I don't know why it takes me so long, you know, to decide. Because, you know, I I understand I need it. You know, you need it. If you're going to live in Korea, if you're going to even go, you know, for a holiday in Korea, you still need it, you know. And, and then since, you know, part of my family lives here in Korea, I think it would be so stupid not to learn it. But it takes me one month and a half to decide. Okay, so I think I need to change my outfit because uh, it's it's minus six right now. Minus six? What? Yesterday it was plus fifteen, and today is minus six. And also, the last thing it's gonna be a beanie. Ready to go. I'm okay. Right now. So let's see. Another one. Thank you. Come from there. Come from here. Okay, I 
think I'm in a lovely place. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I like it. I think like in every language uh, there is um, there is a kind of thing like melody, you know, there's kind of rhythm, uh, the intonation is uh, very different in every language and sometimes you get it and when you get it it's like kind of very easy, easier for you to kind of, I think, to catch catch on afterwards, like, like when you do kind of get the melody of intonation of the rhythm of language, it's gonna help you through, you know, grammatics or through vocabulary or how to say it and how to pronounce it you just get the intonation and then after all you kind of have to you kind of have the sense which is right or which is wrong and uh, I'm gonna say that you know in some particular ways some languages they sound so familiar to you not just like familiar to you but they sound pleasant to your ear and uh, this is very important part because I think when you like the language and how it sounds it's gonna be so easier for you to kind of catch it you know um, so it's not what is happening with Korean language I do understand the melody I do understand the rhythm and how it you know how it sounds and the melody but do I like it not really but I have to learn it like I have no other choice you know just logically it's good for me to learn while I'm here, I don't know how long I'm gonna be here, but still it's good for me to learn it, you know, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, this, this place, what it's called, it's called Stili. I mean, I, I kind of like, yeah, this is the place. I think you're gonna, yeah, and a wonderful, I think it's mom and mother working there. I'm not sure. Okay. Um, not spicy. Uh, oh, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, not garlic, spicy. Garlic? Yes, of course. Pick up to ask me that. Oh, do Sorry. Kalbi. Kalbi? Yeah, this is meat. Kalbi. No spicy. No spicy. Yeah. A little spicy. A little spicy. Yeah, a little spicy. I'm still Korean. How to say little spicy? How to say little spicy? Yes. Yeah, in Korean. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I, I understand. Yes, yes, you understand. Yes. How, how to say yeah. little spicy? Oh, yeah. In Korean. Ah. In Korean, like how you say in Korean. Ah, yakka mepta. Lakka mepta. Yes. Lakka mepta. Yes. Yakka mepta. Yes. Yakka mepta. It's little spicy. Yes. Ah, okay. Little spicy. Mepta is uh, spicy. Mepta. Ah, spicy mepta. Yakka little. Yeah, yeah. Yakka mepta. Yes. Yakka mepta. Yes. Yeah. Choose your. Thank you. Thank So, in Korea, I mean it's so difficult to be vegan if in Korea. I'm not vegan, thanks God, and I don't think I will ever be vegan in my life. Maybe, but mostly I think not. But, yeah, in Korea, it, I think it's impossible to be a vegan. Because, like, it's just, like, very hard to do. And the experience is limited, you know, just like, it is like that. You know, I hope one day there's gonna be, we, we can download the data in our brain and just like, you know, in a second, maybe minutes, you, you know, just like, like, and you speak any language you want. Like Portuguese, okay, download. Yeah, you can speak Portuguese. It would be so cool, it would be so nice, and I do think that it's gonna happen. Um, yeah, it's prob probably it's gonna happen, you know. And you don't need to put a lot of time and a lot of effort to learn language, uh, any language. So you just like can download the language and that's all what I understand right now. So I go out, 
go to cafe or any, I mean, anywhere, in the gym, anywhere I go, I try to speak, you know, just like something, not because I want to practice right now, because I don't have much vocabulary to practice right now. My point is like, I want to build the connections, then I want to build a feeling in my mind when I want to have a connection and the other person wants to have a connection with me, but the only barrier is language between us. So I create this kind of tension or this kind of type of situations in my life. And then I come home and I'm like, damn, yes, I would like to learn language and then come back maybe to this place, you know, and started talking with the same person and and the same person is going to be, you know, um, a bit more happier and a bit more kind of interested in me. It's going to elevate my interest in this language, in Korean in particular, in this example. And for me, it's going to be my motivation. I'm going to enjoy your meal. Thank you a lot for watching. Thank you a lot for all the commentaries um, on the first video, which is uh, living along in Korea. I'm, I'm very surprised. Uh, I can say I'm shocked. I uh, didn't even expect that, you know, then more than my mom and my brother will watch that video. So, and right now it's 20k. I'm, I'm shocked, to be honest. Yeah, I'm shocked uh, for real. Thank you for support. Thank you for commentaries. Thank you for likes, for everything. So, yeah, this is it for, 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 for the second vlog. <laughs> Thank you so much.